When something's changing temperature, we can figure out how much energy is involved by using that Q mc delta t equation. Q stands for the heat energy, m is the mass in kilograms, c is the weird one, it's the specific heat capacity. Really what it means is how many joules you would have to add to one kilogram of that material to get it to warm up by one degree Celsius. And then the last thing in the equation is the change in temperature. For a question like this one, um, I've given you the mass. We know that it's 1.5. I'm going to put the units in so you can see how they cancel. Uh, C for water, there's different versions of it. I've seen 4186, 4190. Uh, I usually round it off to 4200. Um, so if you disagree on the value, that's okay as long as we're kind of close. Uh, it's got those funny units, joules per kilogram degree Celsius. Change in temperature. Whenever we look at a change in, it's always the second minus the first. So if we go from 15 to 85, the change in temperature is going to be 85 minus 50, or 60. Uh, grab a calculator, do the math. Uh, heating up water takes a lot of energy. This particular scenario, we get 378,000 unit-wise. Uh, the kilograms down here cancel with those kilograms, and those degrees Celsius cancel out with the 60s degrees Celsius. So we end up with just a number in jewels.